I need to find a better place to put my phone instead of the windowsill there because it makes my face look greasy as all heck. You guys want to see my doggo? Okay. Doggo. Doggo. Say hello, doggo. I know. So, y'all want to know what it's like living in cabin three, maybe, I'm not sure what you want, it didn't say in the comments, but apparently this is what we're supposed to talk about, so let's get to it. Okay, so actually the first thing I want to point out is, last time we talked about the books, right, There, there's, there's the book series, but did you guys know that there's also movies, there's two movies that actually kind of suck but they're, they're pretty good on their own like if I didn't if if I didn't live my life if I didn't go through all that crap then I would be like these these are some pretty good these are some pretty good movies because I watched them with Paul and he was like hey these are pretty good I was like these are not accurate all right but they're good anyway I was like sure sure Paul but the next thing is I no, I need to take you with me come I recently discovered something uh, yeah, I'm home, by the way. I, w I was home for Christmas and break, and I'm going to be going back to college really soon. The, the, the weird thing is, I recently discovered, as it popped up in my suggested on YouTube, is that there's something, that, that you know what musicals are, don't you? Right? Right? That this is apparently a thing, and what is this? This is supposed to be me. I can't sing to save my life. Hello, Papa. I can't. I don't. What? The Lightning Thief musical, kids? What is my life turning into? What is my life coming to? I'm having a crisis. Okay, sorry. I just needed to point that out because I was like, what is my life? Okay, so. Kevin 3, what it's like. See, this is, this is the thing. Talia has her problem with the fact that she has two cabins. I don't have two cabins, but my problem is I'm alone in my cabin. There is literally no one in my cabin except me. I, I'm all by myself, except when Tyson comes, but... He's not there. Barely ever. Like, three, four times a year he comes and visits when I'm at Camp Paplin. And it's like, I'm all by myself. So, being by myself, I am the head counselor. And I have been since I was 12. When I first came to camp. I'm 18 now. I've been head counselor for six years. I don't know if I still am because I go to college. I am Confucian. But being the head counselor in a cabin full of nobody but myself, I do everything. Now there's certain chores a cabin has to have. Anyway, there's specific chores. You have to keep your cabin clean and then there's rating zero through five. And certain cabin counselors are chosen to go around and rate the cabins. Um, and then whoever, like, doesn't do the best, whoever has the messiest cabin, has to clean dishes with the lava sink. And let me tell you, that kind of hurts when you dip your hand in there. And I didn't know that the first time. Yeah, that hurt a lot. So there's that. Um... It kind of sucks, because, 
like, like, Hephaestus Cabin and, like, Aphrodite and all that. They have a lot of kids, especially Hermes. Like, they have a lot of kids in there. So it's busy all the time. Like, I went to the Hermes Cabin my first, like, week or so at Camp Papillon, and it was busy as all heck. And, like, there was no place to sleep. I had to sleep on the floor. I, I loved it. <laughs> but being by myself is sad. Like, there's no one there to talk to. You just, you, you go back to your cabin at night time, you go to sleep, you wake up, you go to breakfast, you go back to your cabin. You literally spend all day by yourself. And it's so quiet and sad and lonely as all Hades. So that's, I don't have much to say about my cabin. I suppose I could talk a little about, um, Camp Jupiter. So I lived in the fifth cohort with all the kids from the fifth cohort um, when I had amnesia. Um, but now that I'm in college, I actually, there's, you know, I go to college at Rome. Rome, at Rome. What am I even talking about? At Camp Jupiter um, with Annabeth. And we have. Um, some classes together, not really, though, if that makes sense, but, um, we live in the college now, there's, like, um, there's dorms, like, a normal college, and I don't, um, my roommate's pretty chill, um, my roommate is actually Dakota, Dakota's chill, he just gets really high on sugar a lot because of the Kool-Aid, you know, some of the Bacchus thing, that whole thing, but, uh, you know, I, I, it makes me feel really nice, it, feel, it makes me feel like I'm a normal kid, like I'm a normal teenager, and I love it, I get to see Annabeth every single day, I, you know, I get to live a normal life, I get to go to school and fail like I have been for the past several years, no, I'm kidding, I'm actually doing pretty well, I'm going for, um, marine biology, um, and it's, very exciting, but, uh, I get to have lunch with my girlfriend, I get to, uh, go with her, and we have a little special cabin outside the college as well, where we go on the weekends, and we just hang out together, and it's the best thing, and, um, I love being in New Rome, I really do, and I miss Camp Half-Blood as much as I do, New Rome is just as amazing. It really is. I feel like I have two homes and it is the best thing. And it's not as lonely. So, I, I guess that's all I have to talk about. Um, but thanks so much for watching. I'm sorry that this wasn't as professional as it was on this. As I do when I just sit the camera down and talk to it. But I was moving around. I wasn't feeling like I wanted to stay in one place. So I was like, eh. We'll walk, we'll talk, we'll do our thing. That was my bed. Look, it's blue. I think my dad's home. Paul. So that was a great timing, so I, I gotta go. But thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys really soon. Alright, have a good day.